Okay, that's the problem. The reason why I thought that the uh, dialogue boxes were lagging is because I thought you had to press X to advance the dialogue, and in actuality, you just scroll down with the analog stick. Let's see. What does select do? Select just kind of shows me my, uh... My, uh... Doo -doo -doo. My stats. What does start do? That. Really wish I had a free look mode in this. Like, I, I think it's a, a real shame that I, I don't. <laughs> you only need two more pieces of the Muck Monster amulet! Sweet. Now, I wonder if these morphs are permanent or if I have to unlock them in each level. Okay, and around here. Oh, this must be a climbable surface, huh? Waka waka woo! Oh, this is awesome! I'm morphing, I'm morphing this crazy little, little werebear. How cool is that? Yes, me, I only need one more piece of the Muck Monster amulet, okay? Wow, Pepe is really excited about that. <laughs> and I'm also surprised at the uh, the level of verticality. Yeah, I guess you would call it in these in these levels. Um, Spyro is great because you had the gliding function. You know, you could use to like just fly around levels pretty much. Um, so you you had these levels that were designed with really high peaks and valleys that you could glide across. Um, here, even though we don't have a gliding function, at least not yet, maybe we'll unlock one when we uh, get the Gonzo token. Waka, waka, um, we're still uh, we're not just running across a, a hor you know a horizontal plane. We're actually going up and down, and uh, we're mixing all use of uh, 3D space. Right. Ready for some in-depth interviews? Hmm? Eh? <laughs> right, Mucky the Muck Monster's Try swim power there. will let you yeah, run we'll silent, go. run deep, and Which explore you more, more makes underwater. You kick, oh, makes you spin kick. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Alright, I got all these fins. Nice. Okay. Alright, and fortunately because I'm a frog, it looks like I don't have a, an air uh, an air meter. It always stresses me out, uh, especially, I don't think we see that as much in current gen games. But uh, black, back during this, uh, this generation, games were very fond of that. You know, the, the old Tomb Raider um, breath meter, you know, you had to complete underwater puzzles in a certain amount of time. It was always super stressful. Uh, Hola. Hey, you have done? no Sporotus glide power, okay? Now you can rescue everyone in the village with more on-time flights than any superhero, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. Steer using that. Press triangle again. I'll morph back down. Okay, so we actually li literally have a glide ability now, just like Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> this is great! Oh man, this game is basically Spyro the Dragon! Oh, this is great! Oh, I'm so happy. This is exactly what I wanted out of a game. Uh, that, that's why I do this. Why well, I, I do these uh, playthroughs on Underplayed. Um, is to you know, really discover those uh, hidden gems that you might have missed just because uh, they weren't popular. Um, you know, there's no way you can get around saying that this this work is uh, is derivative for sure. Um, it's very clearly referencing Spire of the Dragon, almost to a T. You know, it's very much a clone. But uh, I I'm so okay with that. You know, because that's a, that's a style of game that I really enjoy. Um, and there's enough different here to uh, to keep it interesting. You know, I don't feel like I'm just going through Stone Hill again or the Artisans world. Um, I feel like I am actually exploring a different setting, um, and there's tons of humor to go along with it, which really helps, so, um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, let's over here, there's that one switch that I couldn't access. <laughs> I like how I pull out my little, uh, bat wings. Oh, it's good. And again, very authentic voiceovers. I'm especially impressed by that. Um, while I'm in the air, can I do my Gonzo thing? I can! Look at that! Awesome. Oh, I got you. 
that can I open up the gate in here? It is. Well, I hope I'm not pressing judgment too early, because there's a lot of times where I'll start playing a game and I'll say, "Oh man, it's doing all these things right," um, and then as I get further into it, I, I start seeing like that they they really made some design missteps. But so far, I am absolutely um, charmed with this game. This is fantastic. Um, this is exactly what I, I was looking for. Uh, actually, I didn't even know I was looking for it. You know, I am very much looking forward to seeing what other. Uh, what are tricks I have available? These other levels. Alright, Pepe, hook me up. Hey, this teleporter thingy will take you to the destination when you stand on it again. But what's your rush? There's still a lot to see here. <laughs> now, is there a way for me to check my, like, level completion? Let's see. Peacock Purgatory. I've gotten. Four out of five of those tokens. There's six more stars around here somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about 100%ing this, um, since we're kind of just on on a tour mode whenever I, I do a playthrough for Underplayed. But this is the kind of game that I would love to come back and 100% just in exploring these environments. All right. Back to the hub world, okay? Okay, what is the next level? The hallways of doom. Oh, spooky. Let's check it out. Even the level transitions are reminiscent of Spyro. In, in Spyro with Dragon, you would uh, fly through a portal and you'd get the cinematic of Spyro flying to his destination. Here, you're jumping into a wormhole. You can see uh, Robin flying through the wormhole. Ooh, an indoor environment, huh? This will be fun. 